Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job 121. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hebrews 9.27 Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 16.18 Before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty, and before honor is humility. Proverbs 18.12 O man, the Bible says that is it is appointed unto men once to die. O man, doth thou have power over the grave? Doth thou have power over death? Nay, why are you haughty? Why are you rejecting the word of God in that Bible? You think you're big enough to escape The power of the grave is your soul that haughty. Do you realize your soul is going to live somewhere for eternity? You are not your flesh and blood body. You are the man Whose soul is you, brother? The man that thinks, the man that plans, the man that loves, the man that hates, the man that gives, the man that rejects. That's you. Do you like your friends because the shape of their head? Or color of their eyes? Or the size of their arms? You nut! You have a friend because you like his soul. The inner man, the Bible says, is who you are. Not your body. You, your soul, is going to live somewhere for eternity, old man. And you have not power over the grave or power over death. But you're too haughty. You're rejecting the Word of God. Do you know who you're rejecting? If you think you're big enough in throwing a bird and flipping a finger at that Bible and what's in it, trying to tell you something about your life, who you are, what you are, where you are, where you're going, how you're going to get there, what obstacles stand in the way, and how to overcome those obstacles. You mean to tell me you're... You're being bad enough and haughty enough that you're putting a middle finger up to that Bible and you're flipping that thing off like you think you know everything, big boy, and your body's going to be lowered into that grave? Who do you think you are flipping that Bible a bird? You're flipping flipping the king of the universe a bird. You hadn't read it, have you? Let me tell you who you're flipping off. Revelation 19, 11, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, And his name is called the Word, W-O-R-D, capital W. His name is called the Word of God. 
Revelation 19, 13. And guess who's following him? And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God, and he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. That's who you're flipping off, haughty man. You don't believe that Bible, do you, big boy? And you're going down the grave and your soul's going to come out of your body and your soul's going to leave. It's going to live somewhere. And you're flipping off God, his son. You're pretty bold, big boy. You got more guts. I think then you got sense. You're one strong dude, man, if you think you're going to get away with death because the Bible said death hath power over thee and that a man's spirit is haughty. The power of the grave has got you, big boy, one of these days. And when you're inside of three minutes, it's not going to matter what you think the truth is. The only thing that matters is what that truth actually is. And if you're on the wrong side of it, my friend, the Bible says you ain't going to have eternity in a very good position to spend because it's separation from the life source, Almighty God, in a living state, thus torment. It ain't going to be like you're asleep. You're going to be tormented because that hell is a dump that God is going to discard the haughty souls. Because he don't want those haughty souls to dwell in his house. They don't respect him. Go ahead. Go ahead, big boy. Reject him. He made you with free will so you could reject him. Go ahead, if you think you're big and bad enough, go ahead and make his day and reject God. Reject what's in that Bible and flip him a bird. He says, be my guest, old man. I got a place for you if you want to flip me off. And I'm trying to tell you, you don't want to go there. Man, I encourage you. to get you a King James Bible and read that thing, man. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us full of grace and truth. His name is called, quote, The Word capital W, of God. If you're rejecting that word of God, oh man, you are a fool because the Bible says, a fool says in his heart, there is no God. Are you a fool? Is that how you want to go down? F-O-O-L, a stupid fool! Because you're too haughty enough to humble yourself before your maker? What a fool a haughty man is. You haughty men, straighten your butt up. Or, or no, go ahead and reject him. Make God's day and reject him. Go ahead, reject him, big boy. If you got power over death and power over the grave, go ahead and reject him. Jesus Christ said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. You have an opportunity while you have breath, boy, to humble yourself and receive the Lord Jesus Christ to redeem thy soul to keep it out of the dump. Haughty souls are going to the dump. 
hell, the Bible says, but you don't believe it. That's okay. God says, I'm going to give you a free will, old boy, to reject me. That's okay. It doesn't matter what that Bible says, right? It doesn't matter. Go ahead. Reject it. Reject Jesus Christ. Reject him. If you're that bad enough, go ahead. Smack him around and reject him, big boy. Get some sense about you. Amen.